talk to Mr. A? Well, m more... <laughs> Weird. I just randomly dropped connection. How bizarre. Um, well, more like slightly preoccupied. I can't believe he sent someone after me. Yeah, he told me to bring you back and he'd let me use the dump so I can get more humans in the valley. He never lets outsiders in the dump. You must be someone special, mister. Well, let's not get too hasty, Mr. Special. This rat isn't leaving this place just yet, just like that. But she just said you wanted him gone. Of course I do, but now you want to take him. So there's a value of circumstance. I ran out of charcoal lilies in my pickle, for my pickle juice. Of course you did. You won't find him anywhere else except black moss. Or maybe the bird brain in A24 has some for sale. He just gets him here anyway. Ipswich is wholesale. Uh, Ipswich. Oh, Ipswich, the bird. Ipswich, cool. Bring back a few and I'll see about jailbreaking your newfound friend. Okay. How many have we got? Yep, seven. Got those. <laughs> Do I actually have seven? Oh, no, I've got 18. Wow. Uh, whew, this this is a I was gonna say this is a very close camera angle. Got what I asked for? A dozen lilies, like you said. Uh, a dozen. One, uh, two. Yeah, it looks about right. Good. This better have been worth your time because next time you're taking him back in a jar and paying double. Thanks for helping us out, Mr. Miss Charlotte can't bend after the lilies like she used to. <laughs> Just child. Charlotte, the half-tailed, the half-tailed alligator, struck Hank as someone who would be good at trying to be scary, but didn't always stick the landing. As evidenced by Twiggy, her tadpole buddy, who, by their mere tiny presence, debunked any worry that Charlotte would actually try and fit Hank into her big boiling cauldron. That's the hope, at least. All right, Pipsqueak. Yes, ma'am. Scram. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Thanks, bye. All right, cool. So, tell Anton what happened. Got it. Oh, can I move past you? Oh, a tail is better than having a tail is better than having none at all. But half a tail is worse than both. Oh yeah, you only have half a tail. Uh, I cannot see a thing. Oh, a lily. <laughs> have that. Uh, I'm going to have to sleep. I can't see a thing. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Right, I think I'm going to need to go and get some food very shortly. So I'm going to go tell Anton what just happened and then I'm going to go get some grub because uh, I need some breakfast because I haven't eaten anything today. Um, and maybe another coffee. I'm not 100% sure. Yeah, perhaps another coffee. So, um, if you are watching this, please feel free to... Uh, if you are able to donate, that would be fantastic. If not, don't worry too much about it. It's absolutely fine. But if you are able to donate, that would be a wonderful donation to a wonderful cause, which is MIND, the mental health charity in the UK. Now, being a past and present sufferer of mental health issues, firstly, I'd like to remind you that if you take medication, don't forget to take your medication today. Um, and also, make sure you hydrate as much as possible, because that also helps. But... Do our keys work? No. Um, but with a charity such as uh, Mind, I think any and all support that we can give someone like that would be absolutely fantastic. So, like I said, there's absolutely no pressure there, but if you are able to donate or you want to make a donation, please feel free to. So, let's go back down here. I'm also going to check in the A42? 24? A24. The A24, if I can... Um, uh, sell these flowers to the uh, the bird first before I do the quest thing. Oh, that's going to make a mighty fine hotel. Where is the shop? Is it here? I don't think it's here. 
No, this is a monument. Where's the shop? That's Gus. I've, had, I've not even met Gus yet. Oh, it's down there. Got it. Can I sell these flowers to you? Uh, I never buy, I only sell. That's how I make the big bucks. Oh, that's unfortunate. Ipswich, oh, okay. So I can't... So these are for progression, but I can't sell them. They're worth 250 though. Why, why can't I sell them? Oh, wood for fuel. Oh, lovely. That's unfortunate. Oh, excuse me. Just wanted to get the uh, information up for the stream. One of the funny things I like about this game is it's part uh, kind of adventure game, part um, management sim, which I think is really good. But I don't really need to pay too much attention to the management sim. I just need to, at the minute anyway, I just need to sort of build. Um, the place where guests can go which I really I kind of appreciate because I like the idea of um, building stuff in games like this but I don't I'm not a hundred percent I don't want that to be like the sole focus of it so I can go around it's a little bit like Stardew Valley right I want to do Stardew Valley stuff like wander around and meet people and do quests and go mining and stuff like that but I also want to craft a farm <laughs> you know so doing stuff like this with the uh, with the uh, bed and breakfast is um, yeah it's really nice really really nice where's Anton there he is so Anton oops E there we go and you are not stepping one foot outside of this stinking dump not one foot yes ma'am for a month yes ma'am the first rule of garbage cartography is the cream always rises to the top, so make sure you dig deep down. <laughs> Claire's obviously the right hand on the operation. Her skill at finding some of the best stuff is only matched by her loyalty to the old rat. Anton the boss seems like a real hard ass, but I guess you've got to be in his line of business. Wade would make closer to Wade would be close to the left hand of the sting, useful in a limited capacity and only under strict supervision. At least according to Anton. What a strange bunch. Yes, ma'am. Uh, I always say I've had enough of him, but then I remember the advantages of having an extra pair of paws on hand, like for sending out on wild goose chases. Exactly. You're welcome. Don't flatter yourself too much. You did what you were told. But I suppose there's another end to this bargain. And we always keep our word. So that means this stump is opening now? Uh, Folklorize999 says the management stuff reminds me of a little bit of Spirit Fairer now, come to think of it. The artwork is similar to it. It is a little bit like Spirit Fairer. That was one of the games I was thinking of for this stream and I'm just like oh, Spirit Fair deals with a lot of kind of death related imagery, iconography, sentiments, that sort of thing, saying goodbye to people. I'm like, it's lovely, don't get me wrong, but I don't know if it's the right fit for this stream. 
you know. One of the things I really like about this uh, streaming for mine, and it's probably something I'm going to do again in the future, is um, they give you quite a lot of support and information. Like, they, they give you, um, like, uh, where, where is that pile of rubbish? Oh, there it is. They give you um, videos to play that you've seen, the, uh, the adverts and things like that. They give you uh, stream elements. They give you uh, overlays, that sort of stuff. Which, having done some live streams for other companies, um, firstly, it's amazing that they understand what a live stream is, uh, because some companies just don't don't get it at all, uh, or some charities just don't understand it. And the fact that they would go through and actually make this sort of stuff with other live streamers, they make this sort of content with other live streamers, is brilliant. It means that I can I can put stuff like those adverts that you saw on, and you can have a look at you know a forty pound donation will help run um, the side by side aspect of the charity for another hour. Uh, twenty pound donation will get like one hundred and seventy two people's. Um, first step into finding some help with some literature that sort of things all all really really kind of well put together and i've just noticed we had another donation a few minutes ago that i completely missed anonymous with the 100 pound donation let me just quickly thank you so much whoever anonymous is um so our total at the moment is 320 pounds which is mind-blowing absolutely fantastic i'm so so thrilled that people have donated and i'm so so happy that even if people even if the the, the total was only like five pound or ten pound or something like that for the entire live stream i'll have still been happy um but the fact that people have you know uh, such a time in their lives as well that people would put their hands in their pockets and go yes this is good this is a good cause let's do something nice about this is really lovely so thank you very much for that i genuinely appreciate it and i appreciate you too um so i now need to go back to the oh is that an a, in quest an in progress quest no good to timing little rat the gates open what do you want D nothing i was just about to i'll tell you what there's no respect for the top-down criminal organization business anymore what's the point of having boot lickers if no one's got a passion for boots or oh, licking maybe the flavor isn't great maybe the flavor isn't great <laughs> i ought to turn you in a boots and see what flavor comes out huh bear flavor <laughs> You should really stop testing my patience and get the dump. There's a bag of doorknobs back here. <laughs> you might not get along with. I hope they like me. Claire, get this bird brain briefed on the garbage grinder. Maybe we can get lucky and he falls in. Ooh, garbage grinder. How do... Oh, that... oh Claire's there. Got it. They, they all live in a... a... Chest of drawers. <laughs> What do you want, bird brain? Uh, Anton says something about doorknobs. <laughs> Anton says something about doorknobs. You don't get to address the boss like that. He's boss to you. Oh, sorry. Boss says something about doorknobs. Sure he did. Look, you gotta be careful around the dump. It's not a playground. Especially around the garbage grinder. That'll rip the doorknob that'll rip your doorknob right off. Then I couldn't open any doors. <laughs> I love hags so much. <laughs> Listen, you can throw in any furniture you build yourself in the grinder. It'll wreck it and you can always salvage some of the materials. Around half, give or take. Oh, cool. <laughs> I big take. Uh, just don't get your hand stuck in there or you'll lose it. And we can't have ripped limbs just lying around anymore. <laughs> or else the boss is going to lose it. My hand? I'm not talking to you anymore. I, oh, man. I, I love Hank garbage grinder so we've got some old beds that i'm going to test this with uh, so this i can't remember how much this cost me actually so i'm recycling it into some plywood and some cotton sheets lovely so um right we are going to yes uh we are going to go and take a very swift break um, just so I can go and grab a bit of food and maybe another coffee. I am going to go and leave you with some lovely, lovely love by music. And then we're going to go head back to... Uh, back to um, Finn 
so we can get the next part of this quest underway. So you guys take care, go and grab yourself a drink or something like that, and I will see you very shortly. I forgot I have another monitor then. I will see you very shortly. Thank you very much. Be right back.
there we go. So let's go back to the game. Lovely. So I now have some breakfast with me. There's also been another donation, um, and Andy Park has donated five pounds. Thank you so much. Um, what am I doing? Yes. Yeah, so oh, I'm gonna sleep. That's what I'm gonna do? So it becomes daytime, and I can see. Um, I've got myself some coffee. I've got myself some toast. I've got myself some whiskey marmalade on toast. It smells delightful. It is delightful, I know. So I'm just going to pop myself on mute while I'm moving around and eating some food. very fortunate that uh, in our in our region there's quite a lot of craft fairs and whenever there's a craft fair in uh, near us there's always someone called the jam lady sounds a little bit like a final boss but there's always someone called the jam lady who always makes really nice jams and marmalades and this is one of her her concoctions she's uh, made whiskey marmalade she actually says when you buy it she's like don't don't open it immediately like don't open it and dip your knife straight in what you need to do is open it gently because there's whiskey in it but then she also puts a couple of shots of whiskey on top of it as well <laughs> see them got a choice she's like you could just drink the whiskey off the top that's fine but you can also mix it in as well so i thought as we are uh, moving towards more donations and moving towards the final stages of the um uh, the charity live stream because this will be the final one this live stream will be the final one so for this for this cause anyway for this event um, obviously i'm going to do more fundraising stuff i've really enjoyed it i genuinely love fundraising so it's one of those things that i loggers tools no i don't get any loggers tools um it's one of those things that i just scratches an itch i didn't know i had um but yeah it's uh I thought I could have something something a bit special for breakfast. And it's Sunday as well. I keep forgetting it's Sunday. It's going to feel like such a weird weekend when I go back to work tomorrow. <laughs> what did you do over the weekend? Played 15 hours of games. <laughs> in, in fairness, my work colleagues won't be surprised if I say I spent 15 hours playing video games. At all. Okay, let's... Oh, uh, we're going to go have a talk with Finn, aren't we? Always make sure your property is up to Porn Voyage's uncompromising standards. Press the green button. My standards are as uncompromising as they get. <laughs> Fair. Congratulations, you've met the absolute bare minimum requirements for being a halfway decent service provider. So I've become a landlord. The world is at your fingertips. Who knows, in a year or ten, you might be on your way to the minimum tax bracket. My god, this is like becoming a content creator again. <laughs> but enough talk about the bleak future, let's talk about a bright one. Your next venture with Porn Voyage. Remember, whenever you want to add a new premium property to the Porn Network, find your local Porn Shark and press the green button. Meaning. Oh, okay, cool. So, management quests. Finn leaves behind construction placards in every area. These placards have optional buildings uh, and management quests for each resort. Each will reward you with extra money or special collectibles. Upon completion, new guests will demand better accommodation, but also pay more for their stay. So, has he left a placard here, then? Or did I just not see it? Did he leave a placard there and I just didn't see it? Oh yeah, he did. <laughs> Welcome to the Porn Voyage Leadership and Advancement Program. You can now further improve this establishment. Successfully doing so will increase guest expectations for this area. Also increasing payout and bragging rights. In order to improve this premise, uh, this premise, you must now successfully complete the following task. 
Complete the stay for another two plus guests in Timber Crossing. Reward, a cool new pair of pants. <laughs> I'm in. <laughs> Would you like to accept this job? 100%. Yes. Task in progress. Please return once the job is complete. Got it. <laughs> a cool new pair of pants. I wonder if they get become less afraid of uh, Hank if he is... <gasps> the motel. Um, less afraid of Hank if he's dressed like a human. <laughs> Uh, let's go guest requests. This guest has a higher than average decoration score during their stay. Resort decoration is 21, so that's good. Um, so let's... Two plus guests, wasn't it? So let's just get some one day visitors. Assign you to that room, assign you to that room. That'll do. My assumption there is I won't be able to assign people to rooms that are up to their standards. Does that make sense? So, build a room. We've got some some money, I think. Build a bedroom. Uh, build a, a door. Okay. Um, and pop a bed in it. Uh, oh no, we want a craft bed, don't we? Uh, don't just, oh, uh, oh no. Doing that will discard changes you've made to bedroom. Hey, are you sure? Never mind. It's not usable yet because it doesn't have a bed in it. I need to go to crafting, so I need to... Can I forget this? I can't forget this uh, uh, recipe, can I? Shabby wooden bed. Simple wardrobe. Wood oh, yes. Yeah, shabby wooden bed. Make one of those. And now inventory. Uh -oh. There we go. Uh, can I pop a window in there as well, actually? That's quite nice. The windows do anything? No. Let's move this lamp. Rotate it. Oh, there's something on the thing there, isn't there? Okay, cool. Uh, we're going to move these over here because we're going to make a table as well. We're going to make another window. Have a little seating slash dining area, I think. And another room, probably. We've got loads of coins. Loads of coins. Absolutely. Oh, we've got coins for days, people. Shabby wooden bed. Uh, oh. I can't make any decoration items. Build a room. Build a comfort room. So we've got two small rooms and two big rooms. That's That seems fair to me. Um, shabby wooden bed. Rotate the shabby wooden bed. Good. And create. Can I rotate that? Is there a better way of having that bed? There is. Oh no, no I'm... Now the management sim is coming out at me. Oh no. What is this? Oh, it's a, it's a thingy, it's a footrest, isn't it? Pop that there. Uh, yeah, oh, it's just probably going to go there, to be honest with you. Alright, cool. These look a bit better now. Maybe one like that. Yeah, lovely. I don't think people are going to be able to get around that. Um. So, anyway, what was I doing? Uh, yeah, so, uh, bedside table, lamp, plant pot, plant pot. Cool, 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 cool. Excellent. Right, let's go and, um, to finish this, let's go and uh, buy some more decoration. I completely forgot we got the retro jukebox earlier. Completely forgot about that. So we have three bedrooms. So I'm going to need at least a few more nightstands. Three nightstands. Three lamps. 
small oil light. This one feels like it's going to be like the rustic one. Like the rustic uh, space to stay in. Like I think like the motel would be like the um, like more more high tech space to stay in. But this one feels like the rustic cabin in the woods sort of thing. Farvage, welcome map. Scuffed cupboard cabinet. At least another couple of wall lamps as well. We have a table. Coffee table. Very rustic coffee table. Round rustic coffee table. Yeah, let's have one of those. Do we need chairs? Steady shelf, book cabinet, no chairs. That's weird. It's weird that we don't have any chairs. Okay, well, we'll sort that out. All right, really happy with that. Oh. All right, really happy with that. Yeah. Liking this. Liking this a lot. Can I use this? No. <clears throat> Have I got more people? Of course, I've got more people. Um, you know, two days stay, two days stay, two days stay, one day stay. You can go in this room, and you can go in this room. There we go. More people, more stay. So I've repaired that bus stop, I think. Have I? Yeah. Oh, whoops. Sawdust and the A24. Probably want to do the A24 one first. So let's go do that. Ugh. The minimap. When I walk past that bus depot and I do a side to side walk, the minimap looks really bizarre. Don't know why. So now we have a um, thingy. Cool. Now we have fast travel between the two locations because we've repaired two bus stops. Nice.
Ugh. Click it, click it. Well, there's quite a few locations in this. I'm, I'm surprised there's quite a few locations. Quests. A better shed and shark hunting. Find Finn in this area. Which I assume is this big yellow arrow that Ben does. Yes, it is. Hi, Finn. Nothing to lose, nothing to gain. Grab opportunity by the throat and show it who's boss. Press the green button. Hello again. Be part of the next exciting experience. Enticing escape. Electrifying enterprise. Yeah, you said that. I'm already part of one. Welcome to the arid plains. The desiccated desert. We're sitting in a parking lot. The wild wasteland. Can't believe I'm following. Can't believe I'm following a fish suit around. The A24 is a main artery of the valley. When guitars hum the tunes of old country roads, this is the one they sing about. And this brand new premium habitation facility is the first and only stop on a brave new explorer on the run. An oasis in an otherwise barren realm. There's literally a shop across the road. <laughs> make no mistake, adventurer. Can't make no mistake. Adventurers can't be expected to live off of the live off a tent and trail mix. They require the best amenities. Which is the perfect point of expansion for your now chain of premium properties. I'm sensing a lot of cleanup work. You should always trust your senses. Alright, cool. Let's go check the sign next to the motel to start repairing it. Is it this one? The motel sign. Tony's Construction Service. Welcome to the roadside motel. Would you like to repair it? Yes. Step one. Clear out any debris and garbage inside the structure. I've done that. I did that a while ago. Tony's Construction Service. Good job. This is not a step. Just thought I'd let you know you did a good job. Step two, gather construction materials needed for the repair of the structure. In this case, pine wood planks, iron nails, and stone. Which is, yep, got those. <clears throat> got it. They're all here. Step three, get your butt to work. Uh, okay. Tink, 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 tink. No instructions available. Cool. We have a motel. Nice. <laughs> There's also a workbench here somewhere. There it is. Pineal planks. Confirm. Build workbench. Thank you. Sleep because darkness. <laughs> darkness. How's the construction site going? Press the green button. It's ready. Astounding, you're on your way to become the biggest hospitality developer this side of the canyon. You are currently in position one out of one. Hey, that's not bad. It is certainly something. As a leisure experiment, as a leisure expert, I'm sure that your senses are now precisely tuned to the next step in this possibly yet not probably pro profitable operation. Trick the humans to come over? Trick the humans to come over. <laughs> I mean offer a valued custom a customer a room for lodging. Book a guest in the motel, then return to receive completely unauthorized instructions on how to build bathrooms. Got it. <laughs> I'm on it. I will build a bathroom. Well, we'll build a hotel room, sorry. Build a room. Ooh, comfort hygiene and special. What's special? The distillery. What? Bag. Bathroom. Comfort. Bedroom. Minimum size, two by three. Doors and a bed. Uh, you're gonna go here. Two by three. Three by three. <laughs> I, I don't like the idea of just giving them a two by three door. That's a weird door. Bed. I need a 
shabby wooden bed. Rotate it. There you go. One shabby wooden bed. Ta da! Da da! Oh, I'm bucket to a guest. Got it. That's what I needed to do. Uh, wait. Oh, that means I need a front desk. Crafting. Front desk. Build. Uh, oh, I want to close this bit of the window. Inventory. That'll do. The motel. <gasps> I can get staff. How exciting. Guest requests. Oh, you have all got hygiene requests. Seven you. Five comfort two four. Okay. Three, one, and four. What's my bedroom? Five, four. Okay, cool. Three, one, and four. You. You'll do. And now I need to build a bathroom. Why be in debt from the bank when you could just borrow from the future? Press the green button. <laughs> I get a guest on the way. Astounding! They are in the they are in for the surprise of a lifetime. Take that as you will. Sure. Because of our premium desert location, we are freely able to exploit a common resource to their benefit and our profit. I'm not sure who's exploiting who here. That's right, water! Is, is mutual exploitation a thing? Due to our never-ending quest for patron excellence and unfortunate health and safety regulations, this location can support sanitary facilities, which are now a key expectation for any vizier, visitor of this location. I like that he's wearing his hat. I've just noticed he's wearing his hat in the thing, in the cutscene. You can guess what the next. Can you guess what the next step is? Oh, you sure use a lot of words to say very few things. Correct. You must now build bathrooms for your guests. Got it. On it. Yeah. Lucky. Yeah. Lucky guess. Windy. Build a room. Build hygiene. Build bathroom. Minimum size three by three. There you go. One bathroom. And have I got the ability to uh, craft anything? Oh, no, never mind. Uh, I need a sink, a toilet, and a shower. That's it. Craft. Craft. Crappy toilet, wooden shower, and rusted bathroom sink recipe. Yes, I can build one of those. Yes, I can build one of those. Yes, I can build one of those. Excellent. I'm building the worst bathroom. Shower, that's a bucket. <laughs> it's literally a bucket. A sink. I'm going to put that there. And a toilet. Where's the crappy toilet? There it is. There you go. One bathroom? <laughs> I guess? <laughs> Alright, that's bathrooms now. Amazing! Now that your guests need now that your guests need for imminent relief are met, we should turn our attention to the most important motivation behind renting a room in this motel. Being comfortable? Taking some time off? Repression! <laughs> that was my third guess. Recognizing the insight into customers' motivation towards your product is a key detail of modern marketing. You're doing the thing again. Why would anyone stay in this scum hole? Hey, I put a lot of work into this place. That's right. Running away from what you can't escape. Shady pawn shop debt collectors. Yourself. It's a little dark. Which is the perfect opportunity for one of our most popular facilities. A bar. That's worse. But not just any bar. A tasteful, sophisticated establishment. A distillery. 
How refined. Oh, no, wrong way. There we are. Uh, so, crafting bar. Sturdy wooden bar stall. Sorry, sturdy wooden bar. Wooden bar stall and a basic beer tap. So, build one of those. Yep, I've got one of those. Build one of those. Yep, build one of those. And uh, yep, we build one of those. Good. So build a room, a special, a distillery. This costs a lot of money. Four by five. One, two, three, four, five, six. I built that too big. Uh, let's have the door here. And then we need a bar, a stool, and a tap. A bar. Uh, rotate. A stool and a tap. There you go. Sorted. And now I have no money. <laughs> now I, I had money, now I don't have money. Oh, hey, Centauri, back from your walk. Did you enjoy your walk? Participants in the Pawn Voyage and Pawn Cruise. Programs agree to waive any claims for participants' personal injury or wrongful death. Press the button. The most sophisticated distillery is ready. Excellent. You are one step closer to solidifying this establishment. As the premier watering hole for this entire desert. Couldn't have asked for anything better. As we near the consolidation of yet another premium property, we obviously need to make sure our rigorous standards are met. Obviously. Uh, wait, what happened to the nice forest? The nice forest is just north of this, so this is just south of the forest. This is the desert section. Uh, Pawn Voyage has some new items available. Lovely. To that degree, you'll need to satisfy a series of criteria. Let's get some... Ooh, hello. We've got Rustic Delight Bed Recipe. That's 100 gold. Small Vanity Table, 100. And Cushioned Footrest, 100. Uh, I tell you what, let's go with the rustic recipe. We have no gold anymore. Can I? How much is a room? Comfort bedroom sixty. Let's go here. And then, nope, not a shabby pallet bed. I want to build a good bed. Oh, never mind. Yep, built. You don't have enough coins to build this room. Oh, it costs 90. Oh, okay, let's grab it. No I don't have the coinage. And I'm just going to pop myself on mute while I finish my breakfast. So we need some money. And I'm going to be picking up all of these little bits and pieces. Ooh, stones. Yeah. So we've also um, repaired a couple of bus stops as well. And got a very fetching truck of cap in the process. Uh, but that does mean we... we bring up the prestige level with some, with some trash items. Got some trash. Yeah, I got like nearly 600 trash. I just don't have a lot of uh, thingy. Cooks garbage. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
a large snake plant. Can I sort these? Is this a thing I can do? Organize them. Uh, buy one of them. Buy a couple of them. A sturdy shelf. Book cabinet. Oh, some decorative barrels. Definitely a couple of those. Small abstract painting. I quite like a rug. This rug. Oh, this this will go well in the bar. Small table lamp. For that, I would need tables. Obviously, they're welcome out. Modest towel rack. Have at least one of those. Janky bathroom mirror. Naturally. All right, cool. Let's go hang all this trash up in the motel. <laughs> Dumpster bear. Yep. Uh, I'm going all the way. I need to go this way. Do, 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 do. Oh, wait, I'm doing the wrong thing. There we go. I want this. So, inventory. Organize. Decoration. Furniture. Airports. First items. Fuel. Clothing. Ah, no. Furniture. There we go. Welcome mat. We're going to have a welcome mat right near the door. Uh, maybe move the front desk to what's it there? Nope, that's the wrong ground. There we are. Uh, a couple of decorative barrels in the thingy. Uh, plants. Are these just going to sit? Yeah, these will just sit on the ground, won't they? There we go. Already there. Um, modest towel rack in our disgusting bathroom. There you go. Uh, shabby pallet bed, janky bathroom mirror. Oh, of course, we have to have that above the sink, naturally. Uh, sturdy wooden shelf. Why not? We'll have that in the bar. Lovely rug also in the bar. And a book cabinet. Let's have that in the room. There you go. Excellent stuff. Uh, I think there's everything in here. I really don't, not 100% sure how I'm supposed to um, get extra money. What's this? Oh, bear stash. Other than, well, if I sleep and then I, the person comes round, pass out where I stand. <coughs> okay, so we've got a visitor here today. I don't know where they're coming from, but. Let's go and just have a quick... Oh, hello. Don't mind me. Tony's Construction Service. No available instructions. Oh, okay. It's because I can't do it. And presumably they are happy with the amenities. Yeah. Happy face. Good. You're okay with the amenities. Excellent stuff. Uh, so let's go back to... Oh, where Timber Crossing, that's what it was. Complete a stay for another two plus guests in Timber Crossing. So we've done that one now. So let's go to the bus stay oh god I'm stuck. Let's go to the bus stop. Timber Crossing. Take me to Timber Crossing. Ah! <laughs> ah. Oh, I need to do. I need to go to the sign, don't I? God damn, our, our little bed and breakfast here looks amazing. <clears throat> Is the job complete? Yes. Congratulations! You have once again proven yourself barely above minimum expectations. That's what I aim for. Guests will now have higher expectations for this location. You have earned a pair of pants and will offer a higher payout in return. Uh, I mean, I'm definitely going to be putting the pants on. Pants. Oh, yeah. Look at my pants. Uh, my fancy pants. Oh, people don't mind me anymore. As long as I'm wearing pants. Maybe I just look like a very hairy man now. Not like me. That's what I look like when I'm, when I'm walking around with no top on. <laughs> Further improvements available at this location. You must now successfully complete the following task. Raise the prestige to three in Timber Crossing. Reward 150 coins. Would you like to do this job? Yes. Task in progress. Yeah, it must have been the nudity that scared them. Uh, is the job complete? I think so. Yes. 
Is it? I'm actually not sure. Yes, it must have been. I got I got money now. Further improvements available at this location. You must now successfully complete the following task. Get three five-star reviews in Timber Crossing. Reward a special trinket that will put some pep in your step. Would you like to accept this job? Yes. Task in progress. Please return once the task is complete. How do I get a review? Yeah, I don't know. Can I get negative reviews? What's the... Oh, wait. No, I'm, I need to go to the front desk now. Don't find me. Details. Perfect reviews, five. So I've got recent reviews, seven. Reviews. And what did I need to get? Sorry. Get three plus more five-star reviews in Timber Crossing. Got it. Details. Reviews. Great, lovely experience and great host. We'll be looking to advance. We'll be look, booking in advance for my next trip. Four and a half. Good and absolutely decent stay. I might be tempted to recommend it. Uh, great, lovely. Yeah, five, 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 four. Absolutely lovely stay. Yeah, so people like it, to be honest. So I'm just going to make sure people are booked in. And they don't... Hi. Oh, lovely. People aren't scared of me anymore. How delightful. Uh, guest requests. Uh, I'll take m most of the one one day visitors because they'll be in and out in a day. Oh god, I sound like a sound like an actual thingy. There we go. <laughs> yeah, so I'm guessing I can get bad reviews, but I just need to. I think I, it's because I spent so much money on um, decorations just to make it just right. Uh, so what can I do now? Complete the stay for three plus guests at A24. Uh, more than a shed, get more than five, more, three more five-star reviews. Um, so some more trash. Oh, I have some more money. I can go and make some more rooms now, don't I? Can't I even not don't I? That's not how the language works. E. Oh, that was trash. Uh, A24. Go. Go. Travel. It's literally just down the screen, but it's quicker to do this. Ah, lovely. Caffeine. <gasps> Caffeine. Hi. <laughs> Brilliant. People do not mind that I'm just a, a bear man not wearing clothes. Uh, okay, so let's make some more rooms. Uh, well, actually, first thing, a couple of more bar stools, I think. And then we can put those over in the bar. There you go. So that's like a full bar now, which is good. Uh, if we do rooms, comfort, bedroom. I'm going to want... One, two, three, one, two. Minimum two by three. So minimum two by three. Well, how big is this bedroom? I think it's three by three, isn't it? If I move this out of the way, I'm going to stick another one here. Comfort. Pow. Pow. Um, beds. I need beds. That's what I need. Uh, build a room. Comfort. Bedroom. Three by three. Door. Pow. This is fe feeling very theme hospitally now. Uh, bedroom, comfort, three by three. Good. Door, pow. Um, and let's build. Uh, there's no other special ones, which is fine. Hygiene, bathroom, we've already got a bathroom, comfort. Okay, let's do a two by four here. No, let's do a two by three. It doesn't feel right to do it just a two by three. Oh, it's cost thirty extra coins to do a two uh, do a three by three square. <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> yep. I'm fastidiously uh, uh, obsessed with money. So these are gonna be the little rooms. <laughs> That's how this works now. Rotate. How? Um and then we'll just oh, I have this free at the minute. 
one sixty. Uh, crafting. What do we need? We want ooh rustic beds. Can I have a couple of those? How many bedrooms have I got? One, two, three, four, five, six. Because I'm going to refit this one as well. Crafting. Ooh, what am I out of? Nothing. I'm not out of anything. Oh, I can only build in stacks of five. Got it. So, beds, um, crafting, simple wardrobe, s wooden footrest. Can I go to bedroom furniture? Shabby, shabby, rustic, simple. Five of those. That's going to use a lot of my nails. Whoa. Maybe not. Uh, lots of comfort, lots of decoration, though. So maybe. I don't know. Everyone gets a footrest. That's it. Everyone gets a footrest. Inventory. Beds. Bed. 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 And take this bed out. Put that bed in. There you go. Can you imagine just like you've gone out for the day and someone's just replaced the bed in your room? <laughs> Uh, everyone gets a foot rest as well. Uh, whether you can use it or not is, I don't care. Uh, everyone gets a foot rest. Pow. 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 Oh. <laughs> There's no room for the foot rest. <laughs> In these rooms. Curses. Uh, right, let's go. Oh, where did the music go? How bizarre. The music's just vanished. Oh, where was I going? Oh, the bin. That's where I'm going. <laughs> How weird. The music's just turned off. The bin. There it is. So what do we want for people? I want everyone to have a nightstand, at the very least. Where's a nice nightstand? Oakwood nightstand. One, two, three, four, five, six. And a lamp. One, two, three, four, five, six. That'll do, right? Well, that'll be all right. For now. Oh, trash. Nom, nom, nom. So, walls. Hey, they look all right. That looks like a nice place. Uh, inventory. Walls down. Uh, nightstand. 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 Uh, lamp. 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 Uh, this one needs a lamp, but it also needs the nightstand as well. Uh, nightstand. Lamp. All right. Cool. This is looking pretty nice. <laughs> we even got a sign and everything. <laughs> Brilliant. Uh, Alright, nice. I like it. Hello. Uh, okay, let's sleep. Oh, you can only sleep at night. Got it. Uh, well, let's go explore then. Let's go scavenge some resources. What's this? What's, what's a Gus and why are they walking away from me? Hi, Gus. Who are you? In the middle of the desert, in a rundown metal shack, lived Gus, the most handsome possum in A24. Seemed like digging through junk was the main activity around here, and he was no rookie. Although by the looks of it, Gus's primary concerns rema remained his charm and driving wheel. Hi. Oh. Oh, hello. Mm-hmm. I'm Hank. Okay. Who are you? Gus. Nice to meet you, Gus. Yes, it is. <laughs> what do you do, Gus? Not much. You don't seem to talk a lot either, Gus. Don't need to. That's fair. Well, just wanted to introduce myself. Not exactly putting your best foot forward there. But I've only got two. 
<laughs> Better start diversifying then. I think you're being a little rude. You're right. You're actually perfect. Thank you. What's with all the people? Actually, I might have had a hand in that. Good. They get the best food. They've got the best food and baubles. And they scare easily. A jerk's dream. You don't seem like a jerk to me. Hey, you watch your mouth, buddy. We don't take kindly to those types of words. Anyway, they used to roam all over the place. Reminding me of chickens. Stinky, floating around, afraid of their own shadow. Only stopping for the occasional turd. Living a dream, really. Well, you might start seeing them more, seeing more of them again. Doesn't bother me none, as long as they don't stink up the place, and maybe don't burn the joint down again. All they left last time, blah, 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 dragon. All they left last time was a scorched sandwich and half a toilet. Fire almost got my little driving wheel too. I love my little wheel. Worst part is, sandwich turned out to be stinking leather book. Ask me how I know. How do you know? You're not really playing with a full deck, are you? I don't really like gambling. <laughs> Lad, you got a nice thick skin on you. That or you're thick as gravy. <laughs> Either way, I respect it. Thanks, I like your skin too, I think. Hey, what did I say about saying stuff like that? We don't do that around here. So, what's a cheeky boy like you creeping around people for? I'm not creeping, I'm helping. Right, right, right. Ooh, you're having a sandwich since this area, an Italian bun with French cheese. That's amazing. Right, right, so making some extra be extra beans on the side, getting a kick out of scaring the little mustaches off. I think they're pretty neat, and I like the building part. And my buddy Will isn't too upset about the money. Bah, what are you going to use it for? Buying food? Nah. <laughs> How come you live out here in the middle of nowhere? I prefer it that way. Just me, my diddly little self, and I. I get it. You seem pretty cool to hang out with. Alright, enough. One more word like that and I'm done with you. Anything? Can I buy stuff from you? Are you done with your nonsense? Um, I'm sorry I ever said anything nice about you. Actually, underneath that grubby exterior, I think you're secretly really nice. I'm sorry I said anything nice about you. Uh, make sure it never happens again. Alright, cool. Bye. Give Gus the possum a compliment. Are you done with the nonsense? Actually, underneath that grubby exterior, I think you're secretly really nice. What is your problem exactly? I told you not to say things like that to me. I'm actually the biggest jerk you've ever met. And you're probably the biggest one I've met. Okay, bye. Oh, I can repair the thing. Yeah, I will. Go for it. Cool. An incredible sample of modern art. Plus one guest requests per day in this area. Brilliant stuff. Oh, it's so dark. Uh, right, I shall be back in a couple of minutes. Uh, bear with me. Yes, I shall return in a couple of minutes. Oh, thanks very much, um, uh, Discord, for saying that I was live an hour ago when I've been live for four hours. <laughs> four, yeah, four hours. Uh, right, I will just put myself on pause and I'm just going to go AFK for a second. I need to go for a wee.
Mental health problems affect one in four of us. Join Mind now in the fight for mental health. A donation of £20 could help 167 people take their first steps in getting mental health support through Mind's booklets. £40 could help keep Mind's supportive online community side by side, open for another hour, helping to connect people and feel less alone. There we are. So, what I'm. Um, let me just turn that music down a smidge. There we go. Where did the game music is still off? Yeah, real weird that the game music is still off. Uh, so, what were they doing? Nope, not character. Although, they do have some very fetching trousers now. Yeah, I don't think I was doing anything. I was just uh, harvesting materials, wasn't I? Until I could sleep. What time is it? Half past seven. What else have we got in this area? Player, Finn, Anton, Barbara, Terry Finn, uh, Ipswich. Claire. Oh, what was Ipswich sell? Oh, I think Ipswich sells um, those flowers, don't they? Hmm. Oops. Real spooky nighttime noises there. There's nothing else over there. Oh, I'm stuck. Nothing but pavement from here. <laughs> Literally on the highway. This is this is how my character died in Faith the Unholy Trinity. Now I'm gonna get off this bit. <laughs> Nothing but pavement. Cool. Uh, what else have we got in this bit? Oh, I can sleep now. Good. Ding ding! Three guests have completed their stays at some of your resorts. 687 gained from three guests. That's pretty impressive. It's pretty good. I'm gonna guess not all of them gave me a five star review. Because <laughs> I haven't completed that quest. Shit, can I have a look at my. Where's my character? The notebook. Where can I see without going to a thing? God, I know what I'm talking about, don't I? Um, can I see my reviews and stuff without going to a front desk? I don't think I can, can I? Hmm, some rocks. What I need here is prospector's gear. Oh, excuse me. Oh yeah, there's lots of trash in the dump, isn't there? Forgot about that. Loads of stuff. Uh, the mafia rat told me I could come here whenever I wanted. Hey, questionable results. Thank you very much for tuning in. Uh, hey, Mike, how's it shaking? It's shaking all right, to be honest with you. It's going okay. We're currently at, so let's have a quick look. Oh, I missed a donation earlier. Sorry. Um, £20 for Anonymous. Uh, we're up to £345 in aid of mind, the mental health charity in the UK. Um, which is brilliant, absolutely fantastic, and I am genuinely impressed with this game, Bear and Breakfast. You can find out the link to it um, in the game command if you wish, but you can get it on GOG, that's G-O-G uh, dot com. I can't remember how much it is. It's enough that I would um, uh, sort of tell myself, yes, this is definitely worth it. <laughs> 
it's it's quite funny as well in places. I can't I can't take that away from it. The writing is pretty decent. Hank, the main character there, is very oh it's ten percent off right now. Excellent stuff. Um, Hank, the uh, the main character, is adorable as well. There was a moment earlier where someone was like, "Yeah, you need to put your best foot forward," and Hank's like, "I've only got two of them." Is this trash? Ah, there it is. Some more. Whoops. So basically, um, resetting for anyone who's not tuned in or knows the game, we are a bear who is setting up a bed and breakfast in the woods. So what we're trying to do is we're trying to convince humans to come back to the valley. Basically, we're... Oh, wait, I told a lie. It's 15%. Hey, lovely. Um, we are setting up B&Bs in the valley to try and get humans here the reason we're doing that is for money and also for garbage because they leave the best garbage around so that's one of our primary motivations <laughs> so at the minute right now i'm trying to get some five star reviews in our original um bed and breakfast which is in timber timber crossing which we're going to go and visit in a second because now I've got some more money, I might go buy a few more bits and pieces for it. So if we walk up here, this is the manual where you can walk up here. You can also fast travel as well using the bus, but this is the way you would normally walk up here. Oh, no, don't go down. So this is the starting area, this very idyllic sort of uh, forest location. Hello. And people don't mind me anymore because I'm dressed partially like a human. I've got some pants on and I've got a hat on. If you wander around looking like a bear, they run away from you. <laughs> so this is one of our, hello, one of our B&Bs. Let me just go and double check the reviews. Details of Dinky Shed in Timber Crossing. The reviews 4.5 and 5. Um, and 5. So I think I only need like one more, I think. This, this was day 17, wasn't it? No, I need two more five-star reviews for this one. Which is fine. That's entirely that's entirely doable. Oh, let's go back to ugh, I'm stuck on a, a post, a bin. Even I do like this game, but I need to clear a few more from my backlog before I let myself buy another game. Yeah, same. That's why I've started doing the Steam Clean series. So I basically I went through um, lots of games. I was a games journalist for probably. Uh, I, I earmark it as 10 years basically um, I was a games journalist for like 10 years and I ended up with just so pampered this guest experience a higher than average comfort score during their stay comfort of 8 comfort of 8 <laughs> I, don't, I don't think I want you in this, in this anymore what are you? This guess this was a higher than average decoration score. 23. I don't have something that's got decoration score of 23. Good grief. Um, yeah, so I ended up with tons and tons of games on my Steam list. Uh, which I never... 8 and 4. Oh, I really don't have... I mean, bedroom 2. I'll see if... Can I assign you to a bedroom? No, I don't know. Well, I said empty, but... Um, so I went through it recently and labelled everything I'd never installed slash played as Steam Clean. Because I basically thought to myself, I'm never going to play these. They, they might be good, I don't know, but I'm never going to play them and they're getting in the way of games I actually want to play. Uh, so I'm going to just hide them. I'm going to hide them from my Steam list. And then I thought, brilliant idea of, well, if I don't hide them from my Steam list, but I stick them in a separate list and then we periodically go through that list... And then I spend an hour or so going through the start of that game. And then I'm like, at the end of that stream, at the end of that hour, is this game good? Yes, it goes back in the main list. Is it not? No, it gets banished to the hidden list. So that's what we're doing. And we figured out uh, on, um, was it the Garden Simulator stream on Friday? The end of the Garden Simulator stream on Friday, that we we're going to have a Wheel of Misfortune. Because basically all of these games are probably garbage, right? Let's not lie. They're all probably pretty bad. So we're going to have a Wheel of Misfortune where we're going to have a Wheel app that has all the names of the games on it. And at the end of one of the streams, we're going to spin the wheel twice to tell us what games we're going to play next time. So 
what we're going to have is we're going to have something similar um, this week, this coming week. I don't know when because it's my um, it's actually my birthday on Tuesday, so I'm not 100% sure what's happening in regards to streaming this week. I should still be streaming on Friday as per normal, 5 till 7.30 BST, um, but yeah, you'll have to just check out the discord uh, there's a discord command as well uh, i know questionable results has just uh, just posted a couple of commands in chat um, hopefully somebody can post a discord command in chat if not and uh, it doesn't happen within a couple of minutes i can definitely do that but um yeah the discord basically if you have a quick look on there i will post some details in regards to um getting the wheel of misfortune up and running oh thank you so much questionable results you're a legend an absolute legend what is that thing next to you? Oh, fat, you're a founder, seven month subscriber. Thank you so much. I always wonder what that first thing was. Um, so I need more comfort in, in here. And I think, though I don't know. Oh, I wonder if I can replace their beds while they're in it. No, <laughs> no, I cannot. Which is bedroom two? Does it tell me? Bedroom two, this one. So this one needs more comfort. So I need more comfort for this bedroom. Crafting. Bedroom. Rustic Delight. Has a comfort of 10. Let's build one of those. And now let's get rid of... Oh, I can't get rid of that in a minute. Oh, God. Oh, no, I can't place it anywhere. There we go. Uh, inventory. Stick that back in my inventory. No, I want the rustic bed. There we go. Oh, it's massive. Oh, no. Oh, no. Is it big enough? Yeah, there we go. Let's just put it that way. Move these outside of this room. Move this up here a bit. There. And then... Can I lower all the... No, I can't lower the door. That's sad. Can't place here. And place it down there, though. Uh, yes, so, cancel that. So, let's just double check this guest's requirements. Somebody, it was you, wasn't it? Was it you? Arrives tomorrow. You wanted a comfort level of 10 in bedroom 2. Details. I don't know. Comfort level of 10 in bedroom 2. I don't know what comfort level bedroom 2 has bedroom 2 has a comfort level of 10 excellent lovely stuff good 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 uh, so now oh, it's not quite night time yet so I can't sleep so I'm gonna go over to the uh, trash and see if I can pick up some decent uh, decorative items including but not limited to some large plants that add some decoration Oh, a rounded landscape painting. That's nice. And a medium knitted rug. Let's go with those. Just throw these in there. Oh, how exciting. Oh, Centaria, another five, five pounds. I like round numbers. That's fair. <laughs> thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Thank you, thank you. So let's put that here. And let's put that here. Um, a nice round painting there and a rug. That's, that is a nice rug. I can't lie, that's a lovely rug. Uh, can I have this in someone's room actually? Ooh, I could put it in that room and increase the bedroom to. Oh, that's a decoration of 11. Got it. Oh, right. So having... Wait. I think I've made a mistake. Having items in the hotel doesn't count. Oh, no. It counts towards the prestige of the hotel. Got it. But not necessarily the comfort of the rooms. Oh, I see. I see. I see. I see. So decoration of the room. Decoration of the room. Decoration. Yeah. So, okay. It makes a lot more... Uh, obviously 500 would be even more satisfying but that's more than I have lying around yeah absolutely don't yeah no 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 don't um, 
Absolutely. If people want to donate, that's wonderful, and I appreciate you and love you for it. Do not donate if you cannot. That's a hundred percent not what I'm doing this for. If we don't reach a a, a target, uh, that's an arbitrary target. If we don't reach that target, it's absolutely fine. It's not a problem. In fact, I set that target without even thinking about what I was gonna do. That was just a, a bit of an arbitrary milestone that I did. Let me just go. Just turn the music back up a second. Whoops. Just go back onto Tilt for a second. Sign in. Oh, or not. <laughs> there we go. Uh, yeah, sign in. That's what I want. No, don't send me a link. Just let me sign in with my username. I'll give it the password. Do it I don't know if I can change it. That's what I'm trying to find out. I mean, this is, I, I, I don't think we're going to get to that, uh, that, that target, but if I can have a look, see if I can change the target, then I can, uh, yes, use LastPass. <laughs> yes, copy username. Whoops. God, I love this music. This I absolutely adore this music. Oh, hello. Good job there was nothing there. Beast. Sign in. I can also eat some of this tiny piece of cake more I've got me. Turns out I can't. Oh well. That's that. Um, okay, what are we doing? Fuel? Interesting. So that's, I'm pretty happy with that. Everyone's got their comfort level that they want. Um, everyone's kind of happy. Ooh, hello. That room has changed. <gasps> Does this, do the rooms change depending on the comfort? Oh no, I'm gonna have to go buy it. Wait, is it comfort level? Let me have a look. Comfort 10, decoration 11. Comfort 5, decoration 10. So if I put that in there and see if it changes. Oh god. No, it must be comfort. Mm, oh no. Oh, whoops. Get the plant pot out of there. I don't know why I have a plant pot on the floor. Do with upgrading these beds actually. Let's upgrade these beds. Let's craft these beds. Furniture, bedroom. Uh, how many? Wait, how many? I have three beds. Three more beds. Rustic bed. Three beds. Inventory. Lovely. Uh, get rid of that one. That's in. Oh, I'm gonna have to do a bit of jiggery pokery with this. Uh, so, has that increased that? Yes, it has. <gasps> the walls change. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. That means I'm gonna have to change all of the rooms so that they're nicely uh, decorated now. Oh, no. Uh, let's put that there. Oh, this needs a bedside table because it's dark 
and a lamp. There you go. Whoa. Yes. Brilliant. That's lovely. That's absolutely fantastic. Um, now, oh, I'm going to sleep. Immediately passes out where he stands because he's a bear. Walking. Just walking. I wonder if that uh, character was stuck because of the size of the room. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm not very chatty. Can I work in this sea mist swaddled edifice on the edge of the channel? Oh my goodness. <laughs> sea mist swaddled edifice on the edge of a channel. <laughs> Questionable results. Do you mind me asking what you actually do as a living? Because that's very intriguing. Also, don't, don't, absolutely don't worry, but it is a predominant fact. I've said this before. It's a predominant fact that um, community members on this channel are supportive quietly. I'm never, I mean, if people want to chat, perfectly fine. If people want to chill out, perfectly fine. I'm really, really easy with that. I like chatting with people through chat, but if like 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 people want to watch and just chill out. Uh, case in point, somebody was watching the other day when I was doing a Phasmophobia stream. Uh, I literally wanted to play Phasmophobia on stream, but didn't want to have... Um, oh, hello, what's this? I'm not getting through there anytime soon. Uh, didn't want to have like a uh, camera on, mic on, didn't want to look at chat, that sort of thing, but just wanted to stream it. Um, so yeah I just had that on and someone came back uh, yesterday I think it was and said that stream was exactly what I needed at that time I just I didn't want to be I just didn't want to be on my own if that makes sense I just wanted some headspace but I wanted to enjoy myself watching your stream I'm like perfect that's absolutely fantastic that's that's what I want that's what I sort of uh, dog that's what I want that's what I live for um, yeah it's uh, as uh, I ideal, so it's synonymous with this channel that people are supportive but quiet. So absolutely, don't worry about that. Never, never worry about it. I just talk to the void. That's <laughs> not a, not a problem whatsoever. I assume people have me on in the background, which I'm I'm also perfectly happy with. I'm not sure. Oh, hello! That just spawned out of nowhere. I'm not sure I could cope with, uh, you see these Twitch streamers that have like millions of chatters like in their chat room. I don't think I could cope with that. Do not think I could cope with it at all. So this is, a <gasps> I got three or more, oh I did it. I got uh, some five star ratings for Timber Crossing. Lovely stuff. people with lots of viewers and chatters just pick and choose what they respond to that's true i've seen people i've been part of a community that's like um got hundreds of chatters at a time and it's i can only imagine it's a case of you're focusing on the con on the game the content that you're doing and then occasionally you'll look over and be like that comment you know <laughs> i can't imagine it's any more complicated than that unless people like highlight certain messages or certain words or keywords or anything like this Congratulations! This greatly benefits the location. Guests will now have higher expectations for this location. Trail mix. Find it in your collectibles. So I'll offer you a higher payout in return. Find it in my collectibles. Trail mix. Uh, fruit, nuts, and granola that keep you moving swiftly. Oh, and some raisins too. Increase speed by 50%. Meow, I'm a speedy bear. Meow, meow, meow. Meow. Jum, jum. Okay, let's go uh, complete the stay for three plus guests at A24. So we've got that to do. Where's our world map? Where else have we got? Sawdust. Where's this? That's very fast. I like what you did this area. Sawdust. We haven't got anything in Sawdust yet, have we? Let's go over to Sawdust. Oh, trash. Trash bear. Trash bear. 
Just bear. Just bear. What? Is there anything new here? <gasps> there is. Oh, yeah, I forgot about these. The cushioned footrest and the small vanity table. Let's buy both of those. Buy them and do them. Uh, if I go to A24, I can recycle the items that I'm not using as well, like the rubbish beds. But that's. Uh, I'm going to have to go back down to A24 to do that, so. Oh no! Oh, it's so windy! It's so windy and rainy. Uh, we just go to the local map. I don't think there are any locations here for excavation, sort of thing. Oh no, it's so, it's so wet. Oh, there's a lot of wood in the way there. Can I get in here? Hi, Tony! It's just me. Your local Wood Samaritan. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, I like that stuff. Be careful not to lose your bearings. This weather is unbearable. <laughs> There's more of this forest than jump out. Or is this always like this? I can't remember. Uh, right. That goes somewhere I can't get access to. So yeah, I kind of I'm kind of stuck here. Yeah, so I'm gonna go back and go over to A24. There. Also going to oh hello. Further improvements available at this location. You must now successfully complete the following quest. Build two level two bedrooms in Timber Crossing. Reward two hundred coins. Would you like to accept this job? Yes. Task in progress. I've already done that. Give me my money. Yes. Congratulations. Anything else? Further improvements available in this area. You must now successfully complete the following task. Uh, raise the prestige to level 4 in Timber Crossing. Yes. I don't know if I've already done that. <gasps> no, I'm not. Uh, I wear a few hats, but I look after a 120-acre Wi-Fi network for the tenants on site. It's centred around an old house. I see. I see. An old house, you say. <laughs> I'm going to take that many different ways. Uh, prestige level 4. I'm prestige level 3. Crafting. Special stuff. Oh, I could, I could make a bar, maybe. Build a room. Oh, no, I can only make bedrooms here. Okay. I can only make bedrooms. Got it. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. What raises prestige? I think it's just having a nice furniture, to be honest with you. Or decorative tat. Oh, that was trash on the ground. Yep. Oh, there's some wood over there. Lovely big pile of wood. Uh, a level four decorative object really want to spend that much on it. Let's buy some more plants and some decorative barrels and a shelf. What? Oh, is that you can hear footsteps at night. <gasps> Anonymous with the five pound donation. Thank you so much, Anonymous. Really appreciate that. It's gonna, you're going to send Sinceria into a flip now. Sinceria is going to have to make it a, a thingy figure, a round number. <laughs> So you're going to bed, and I am placing some plants. Yeah, one there as well. Wooden footrest. Why not? I've not put it anywhere else. Uh, there you go. This raises prestige, right? 
Oh yeah, quite a lot actually. And then that plank can go on one of these barrels, finally. Um, organize. Oh, shelf. There it is, shelf. Rotate. Lovely shelf. Can stuff go on the shelf? <gasps> it can! How exciting. Plants on shelves. Excellent stuff. These can also double as uh, seats, although no one ever sits down, so... We need more prestige, people. We need more prestiges. Ugh. I know I can't put it there. I'm trying to make space for it. Level 4 prestige. There we go. Uh, let's go buy some more tat. <laughs> let's go buy tat we don't need. Oh, wait. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Can I upgrade any of the stuff in this room, in this place so far? So let's take this bedroom for example. Let's lower all the walls. Oh, I have done. Um, that is a wooden footrest, a small nightstand, wooden footrest, comfort two, decoration two, craft, bedroom, footrest, footrest wooden footrest, cushioned footrest. Oh, inventory. Take that out of my inventory. Put the cushioned footrest in and see what that does. Ooh, that increased the prestige quite a bit. Now, if I get out. Rugs. Rugs are a good thing to raise the prestige. That's not a bad shout. So, at least a few more rugs. Are there any other items I can craft for the bedroom? Wardrobes? Don't have the, I don't have the space for wardrobes or vanity tables. I don't think... Um, I think there's going to be space for a vanity table anywhere. I don't think that fits there, if I'm perfectly honest with you. If I move the door a bit, it might. Oh, there's something on the wall. There's a lamp on the wall. There's a snake in my boots. No, I want the plant. Give me the plant. Go. Put that there. Put that there. Oh no, that's a door. Put that there, put that there. Um, now, I might be able to put the vanity table in. Yes, the vanity table. So that's increased our prestige a little bit. So I could probably put another vanity table in here, or at the very least upgrade that footrest, but I'm also gonna go buy some more rugs. I say buy some more rugs. <laughs> Decoration two. Decoration two, and that's cheaper. Decoration one. Decoration one. That's the, che that's the cheapest, best rug, probably. Yep. There we go. A few of those. And we'll have some mirrors as well. Why not? Oh no, are they standing mirrors? I didn't know if they were standing mirrors or they were like wall hanging mirrors. Well, let's sleep, this is night time. <laughs> the, the best ability in any video game. Oh, I keep feeling like the lock on my chair isn't on. <laughs> Excellent. So, inventory. Oh, that is a far mirror. Dang it. Well, uh, to be honest, it, it works. So... This is a really cramped room. There you go. <laughs> you have a mirror there. Uh, rugs. Rug. 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 It's getting there. It is definitely getting. I mean, it looks messy as all hell, but it's getting there. Let's take. Let's replace this with. Oh, I wonder if I can replace the lamps. Actually, what if I should replace the lamps? Place this footrest with a cushioned one. Whoops, didn't do that. Cannot add item to inventory because I wasn't adding it to my inventory. Uh, is it there? It's there. Crafting, not crafting. I need to go buy tat again. Zoom. Speedy bear. 
All right, Tuck. Legally distinct from Tom Nook. Can I stack these? Yeah, I can. Thank goodness. Uh, so that's a level 2 decorative item with a rating of 1. That's a level 1 decorative item with a rating of 1. Oh, that's unfortunate. Sensible floor lamp. Rating of 3. Guess some of those. Um, Alright, let's grab some of those. I'm running out of garbage now. I need to go back to the dump. Um, and let's see what effect these have on the roof. So right now, it's unfortunate that I don't have a, an actual numerical value for this uh, prestige, but right now it's about there, right? If I replace one of these... Oh, I didn't do that right, did I? Inventory. One of these with oh, one of these. That doesn't look any better. Yeah, I don't think that's any better. What might be better, though... Oh, the floor lamps are a winner. The floor lamps are good. The floor lamps will be it will be the way we do this. God, this is so cluttered. This is so cluttered. I hate it. Prestige four. However, I need to get rid of that um, floor lamp here and put a oil lamp back in there. And then maybe put another floor lamp in somewhere. Maybe behind the desk. Can we fit it behind the desk? No, apparently not. Can we fit it in front of the desk? There, that'll do. Prestige level four. What happens if I remove it? Oh yeah, I've still I've I've successfully raised the prestige to level four. It doesn't matter if it's gone down. I go away for a second and you start punning again. Impossible. <laughs> it's an unbearable amount of puns that are happening right now. Is the job complete? Yes. Congratulations. This greatly benefits the location. Guests will now have higher expectations for this location. I don't think I'm doing myself a favour here. And offer a higher payout in return. Cool, what's next? Further improvements available at this location. You must now successfully complete the following task. Build one level three bedroom in Timber Crossing and host two guests with the pampered trait in Timber Crossing. Yes, thanks. How do I know what level my bedroom is? I don't know what level the bedroom is. Just tell me bedroom two. I don't know what level the bedroom is. How do I find out? How do you find out? A level three bedroom. Is a level two bedroom then? I don't know what the difference is. Well, I do know. I know the difference is the colour of the walls. I know that changes. So maybe it is level three. Maybe it's... Bedroom 2. No, I can't just look at the thing. Oh, there it is. But I can just click on the room. I have to sort of go to a certain spot in the room. Presumably where there's no furniture. Oh, that's quite difficult with my bedrooms. Ah, score, decoration, guests. Brilliant. Everything's in tip-top shape. Lovely stuff. So that's a level two bedroom. Cool. Got it. Alrighty. Delete. What? This whole room? I don't think so. So we're going to leave that alone for now. And we're going to... Oh, look at that person taking photos. It's adorable. Uh, yeah, we're going to leave that alone for now. I'm going to go and check out the bedrooms in A42, A24 even, not A42, there's so much trash. And humans are gross. Um, yeah, go to the A24. It's basically just a motorway stop. Oh, lovely.
Okay, so we've got a few people in here. Or we've got a few rooms in here, I should say. Ooh, oh, that's the bar. That's not a bedroom. Got it. But I haven't done a lot of stays here, actually. I should probably go and just very quickly. Yeah, not a lot of people are staying here because I haven't given them a room. Um, bedroom one has no hygiene. Bedroom two and three have hygiene. Why do bedroom two and three have hygiene? Is that two and three by any chance? The, the bathroom's right there. It's right there. Do I need multiple bathrooms? Is that the thing? Is that what I'm hearing here? Build room. Hygiene. Bathroom. Minimum size 3x3. Three three. There you go. A 3x3 three three bathroom. Uh, do some crafty craft. Finish the bathroom. Do some crafty craft. Bathroom. Crappy toilet. Oops. Crappy toilet. Wooden shower. Bathroom sink. I guess walking 10 meters for a bathroom is too much. I know, right? Insane. Absolutely insane. A uh, terrible toilet. <laughs> a wooden shower, because everyone loves a wooden shower. Uh, and a sink. A questionable sink. There you go. What more could you possibly want? Other than, than a window. I'm not putting a window in a bathroom. That's weird. Yes, that's that should be that. Exit. So now do these also have hygiene? Hygiene, 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 hygiene. Bedroom four and one don't have hygiene. Guest requests all have hygiene. They can't all need bathrooms, surely. I mean, in fairness, it is a hotel, so <laughs> small window to air the bathroom. No, it's all gonna stay in there. <laughs> they can just it can just marinate. Um, oh, I have a feeling I may have needed to... Where's the... It's a shame I can't do this screen more, more freely. Bedroom 6. What bedrooms need a bathroom then? Bedroom 1 and 4. Okay. I'm going to guess it's this one and this one. Maybe there have to be so many steps away from, or so many squares near to the, oh uh, no, back, bedroom one, yeah, and four, yeah, I thought so. So can I move this? What if I, uh, what if I delete this room? Are you sure you want to destroy this room? You will be refunded the whole investment, yes. Perfectly fine. Uh, you say this. Oh yeah, I got the items back as well. So I can just delete with impunity. You know what I'm going to do, don't you? You know what I'm going to do. Oh, I'm so tempted to delete all the rooms. Oh. The struggle is real to just, just scrap the whole hotel and just remake it. No, I can't. I can't. I can't. I just can't. So if I make that a bathroom, a bit bathroom. If I move this over here and then put bathroom here, build room. Oh, I really, really want to destroy the rooms. Un bathroom. Uh, craft. Bathroom. 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 The inventory. Sort. Bathroom. Toilet. Got hold wooden shower. There you go. Exit. So now they should all have hygiene, right? Hygiene, hygiene, hygiene. Good. Excellent stuff. So 12 and 13. Oh no, that's... Yep, you'll do. Uh, you're in bedroom... Oh, hang on. What? Wait a minute. Bedrooms. Oh, I didn't actually assign you to a bedroom. That's interesting. So assign you to this bedroom. Uh, 4, 3 and 8. 
Yep, more than. Three, eight, and three. Mm, yep. Uh, two, three, and five. Mm -hmm -hmm. Yep. Oh, you're pampered, aren't you? Higher level of comfort than eight. Yep, you got that. There you go. So we've got some people. This is already prestige level four. That's pretty cool. Excellent stuff. These are tiny bedrooms. So, so tiny bedrooms. Boop. Right, cool. Can I put... I don't think I could be able to put... I could put a room and a bathroom here. I guess. I suppose maybe I should put a bathroom on everything. On every room. Or adjacent to every room at the very least. But then maybe we'd get the unfortunate... Oh, a diner! We'd get the unfortunate situation where people would use other people's bathrooms, which is just weird. Ahem. <coughs> Mike, check one, two, one, two. What you gonna, what you gonna do when they... Can you hear me? Oh, crap. Um, have I found anyone that buys items yet? Do you buy items? No, you don't, do you? Cancel. Who else buys items? I know the bird only sells items. They specifically said they only sell items. If I can find the bird again. No, the bird down here. Ipswich, I think her name was. I can't, I genuinely can't remember their name now. Oh, you sell fuel, don't you? You seem like you barely know how to put one foot in front of the other. I'm not surprised. Excuse me? Tell me, child. Do you reckon with the wild? Do you flirt with the bizarre? Beckon the uncharted? I've been known to occasionally look away in the distance. No, I didn't think so. You don't look the part. You have never set foot in the shadow darker than your mother's. If you think these lands are young, you are greener than the crudest sapling. Sorry, bear with me two seconds. There is nothing to fear but those who fear nothing. What the hell are you talking about? Oh, fine. I guess I'm lucky to stumble upon someone with po something with pockets. Can you just call me a something? I hope for your sake that they're not empty. Sadly, you won't happen to know anything about all the humans showing up out of nowhere, would you? I might have had a hand in that. As in, I might be solely responsible. Well, there's no stopping them now, is there? Once they start coming back, they'll keep coming. I won't complain. Business has been slow since the dreadful blaze. I didn't know the fire reached all the way out here. Oh, the fire wasn't even close to the worst of it, lad. The shouting, the anger, the pain, as if the gods were waging war over us. Maybe they were. Now you're getting it. Anyway, you might be taking care of the motel, but there's a clear lack of stuff to bite on around here. Something that old dino is a sweet spot for. If you can get it back up to speed, I'm pretty sure you'll get more people to come over. Lovely. <sighs> Gonna pass out or a stand, the switch, thank you. Ding ding. 
Restore the diner to its former glory. Yeah, you just sell charcoal lilies. Uh, uh, charcoal lilies. Are they fuel as well? No, progression. Mm, interesting. Still can't sell these ones, though, can I? Because having items that are worth 250 gold in my inventory, 24 of them, is burning a hole in my brain. Repair the gas pump. One plus one request per day. Cool, do it. Yeah! Looks refreshing. The Diner. Tony's Construction Service. Welcome to the A24 Diner. Would you like to repair it? Yup. Step one. Clear out the debris and garbage inside the structure. Pretty sure I've already done that. Yep, already done that. Looted all of that. Tony's Construction Service. Is the structure clear of any debris or garbage? Yes. Step two. Gather the construction materials needed to repair the structure. In this case, copper plates, porcelain chunks, and glass panels. Uh, I have all of those. Oh, no pillow. What? You unhappy? There's no comfort. Are you not finding this comfortable? Oh, how exciting. Uh, hello, Jay, with the £20 donation. We'll get there eventually. Thank you so much. Thank you. Really appreciate that. Uh, have all the materials been acquired? Yep, they're all here. Step three, get your butt to work. Oh. Tink, 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 tink. Look at that. Whew. This is, this, oh, that cow person is very unhappy. Oh, probably because they couldn't use the toilet. I do have more toilets than people, so maybe that, ooh, fridge. Double door fridge. Nope, nothing. Uh, I don't know any cooking recipes. There's a bad door as well. Yum. Um, do I need to do anything else? Tony's construction service. No available instructions. Oh, yeah, no, they're just serving themselves. Cool. <laughs> And leaving trash outside. Excellent. Thanks for that. Yeah, feel free bipeds. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. Yeah, five rooms, four. Five rooms, three toilets. Probably not a good ratio. Now, I'll restore the diner to its former glory. We can go and hand that in. Meow. Blimey, that took a while. Had to chase a drone being military adjacent. That's a big no no. Whoa. <laughs> yes, questionable results. That does sound like a big no no. Alright, Ipswich. How's the diner repair going? Uh, going, going, gone. I mean, done. You should know, child, there is nothing more treacherous on this green earth than humans. Those bored gremlins. Bored gremlins. <laughs> they know nothing of this world, yet they consume it. The dark spirits will be angry with their return. You, you really freak me out when you do that. I suppose they do bring their own fortune. Which, of course, they don't share willingly. We have to pray or become prey. Go scavenge like rats! I don't suppose you've had any uh, bad dreams lately? No, no, nice like a baby. That's a lie. Yes, a big, honest baby. Don't worry. She only bites when she's told. And there's no one to tell her yes. Or no. How cryptic. Thanks, Ipswich. I never buy, I only sell. That's how you make the big bucks. Yeah, so no one wants to buy these incredibly expensive flowers that I've got. Well, that's interesting. Let's go dumpster diving for a bit. <laughs> Complete a stay of up to three guests in A24. Yeah, build a level three bedroom in Timber Crossing. So we're going to go. Oh, I can start recycling stuff as well now. So all these terrible, terrible beds. I can just I'm gonna get rid of all this fish. Not the rustic bed. Not that. Oak nightstand. No, I like that. Uh, Organize. 
Well, I suppose I can get rid of those. Can I? Oh, I can. Can I split these though? Can I just one? Yeah. Uh, so recycle those first. This is just us recycling some of the old um, thingy, uh, old furniture we've got. opportunity after this fundraiser to go retro game shopping in charity shops which is fun and I found uh, it was quite, it's very, it's quite useful going in uh, charity shops for uh, retro games recently um, sometimes you find them kind of stuck at the back of DVD, like piles of DVDs but it's it's always better than going to somewhere like um, like specific retro game shops. I have a big problem with retro game collecting at the minute. I'm trying my best. I've said this on stream before, but I never mind repeating myself because my brain. Um, I when we moved, I lost a lot of um, my old video games, it's like games that I had from when I was a kid, and games that I even games I borrowed from people and stuff like that. Um, when we moved from Blackpool, poor. Geez, so many years ago now um, I lost them all because I had a big falling out with my dad and uh, yeah I I've, uh, slowly but surely we were then in some real financial problems um, and I just I didn't have the wherewithal to sort of value my own um, possessions very highly this is a mental health thing um, and one I've had I've had therapy for because uh, I'm a big advocate for therapy as well so if you think you need to speak to someone there's I mean it might take you some time it took me a number of therapists to find a good one that I trusted that you know I could talk to and felt like I wasn't being judged or you know it's a safe space and that's a, that's a tired uh, 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 saying for it but it genuinely does feel like a, a, a nice space where I can just unpack stuff and I feel like I can go I can unpack a thought or a feeling or something like that or a neuroses you know and I can I can just explore it a bit more rather than having a reaction to it um, what was I even saying oh, yeah retro games um, yeah I didn't think too much about my own um, possessions so I was like when we were in financial difficulties many years ago I was like well I'll just sell all these games and I had like a fireplace full of old retro games and um, PC games and stuff like that so I didn't I didn't think anything of it so we sold all those to make some money basically um, and I thought to myself like that's not that's not a big problem but now I've got grown-up money for some reason people now give me grown-up money and I'm now like going and buying all these retro games on places it's just kind of impossible I didn't see what that sticker was uh, oh, anonymous with a fifty pound donation. Thank you so much. Getting there, lovely. Thank you so much. We are getting there. Yeah. Um. Thank you so much. I really that's that's lovely. Thank you so much for that. Um. I. What was I saying? Yeah. It's it's hard to get. Um. Kind of. The games that I used to play, like with my dad and with my sister and stuff like that. I've I've started to get them, but. If I go to somewhere like um, CEX, which is a, a, a like a secondhand store for video games, sometimes you can find a bit of a bargain, but other times they know how expensive retro games are. So like, there's a, ca a game called Castlevania Chronicles in there at the moment in town where I live, and it's £160 for a PlayStation 1 game. That's crazy. Now I've, I won't lie, I've paid a... a solid amount for a PlayStation 1 game in the past, but that was a game that meant the world to me. That was a game called Sui Koden on, it was a, an RPG, a Japanese RPG, um, on PlayStation 1. I did pay a premium for that, but that's because that's one of the ones I always looked at these retro games and thought to myself, oh, I really wish I still had that. And I'm going to play that on stream at some point. There's a big, there's literally a bookcase full of retro games that I'm going to Oh, no valid items to recycle, so I can't recycle that. That's unfortunate. Uh, yeah, it's a big bookcase full of retro games that I'm going to go through at some point. But, yeah, it's just... Oh, it's night time. <laughs> night time! 
People in places are very aware of Google Trends. Yeah, they're just... It's just a bit bad now. Do you know what I mean? Ooh, complete this day for three guests at A24. Lovely. Yeah, it's just getting a bit bad now. Like, it's hard to collect them. Like, even bits and pieces. Like, I've never... One of my big gaming shames is I never played the Metroid games. As much as I love Metroidvania games, you know, uh, Axiom Verge, for example, brilliant. Heavily inspired by Metroid and Castlevania. Um, I never played it. I never played Metroid. I've never played a Metroid game. I mean, I have now, but I never played a proper Metroid game. I've played Metroid Dread, which is the new one on Switch, more than I've played um, uh, Metroid any others at all. I've played the first intro bit now. I've played the first intro bit to the original Super Metroid, and that's because it was on the virtual console on Switch. However, now I'm starting to find... Yeah, Questionable Resource is absolutely right. Thrifty slash charity stores are a good place to find games. Another good place to find retro games and hardware is um, car boot sales. Yeah, I don't know if you, you the rest of the world have a, a, an equivalent for car boot sales, but it's a little bit like a garage sale or a yard sale, that sort of thing. Lots of people sort of go to a certain place and just sell things out the back of their car, essentially. And that's a, that's a decent... A decent way of probably describing it. Uh, I mean, a retro game store here is selling Persona 3 for 230 euros. It's mental. And some of these games, I think to myself, I had them. What's the game I had on PlayStation 2 that I cannot find? Oh no, PlayStation 1 game called Wild Arms. There was a PlayStation, a PS1 game called Wild Arms that I loved. And it was obviously a very popular game at the time, and it was very. Um, well received but it's become this cult status symbol of retro game collectors that if one becomes available it's immediately like two or three hundred pounds in a good condition or something like that and i'm like the game itself it's on um what's it called the playstation classics collection on ps5 so i could i can play it but there's part of me that's like but i want the disc i want the original thing do you know what I mean? Because that's, hello, human. Um, that's what I played as a kid. And yeah, just trying to piece those. I don't feel like I'm collecting them. I'm sort of not, I'm not collecting them to sell them or for them to appreciate in value or anything like that. I'm collecting them because they're bits of my past. You know, they're bits of my, my history. And I just want to be able to, you know, when we have a family one day, I want to be able to pass that down. You know, I want to be able to go, look, these these are all the games that I played when I was younger. You know, I want to play them with you. I want to, I want to share them with another generation. So, I don't know. That was, that was pretty deep, considering I was just talking about the price of retro games. You got all requirements in check. Press the green button. Ready. Amazing. This concludes our foray into roadside attraction business. Your extraordinary enterprise empire is expanding. Thanks to the hard work of your porn voyage representative... How can I ever repay you? Remember to start working on your next premium property. Locate your nearest shark-like agent and press the green button. They are gone. Oh, how quaint. Come visit an old lady when you can, will you? Uh, Alright, I'll come visit you. Well, actually, I'm going to come visit you in a second. I want to know what the next upgrade is. Welcome to the Porn Voyage Leadership and Advancement Program. Uh, it was just after Persona 5 released when they became mainstream and popular. Yeah, that's always happened as well. What I have seen is now, um, <laughs> I, I started collecting the Silent Hill games, the original Silent Hill games. So I've had Silent Hill 1 on PS1. That's one I've never got rid of. And Silent Hill 2 on PS2 in their original packaging from when I bought them for years. Years and years and years. Those those made the cut when we got rid of loads of games. Never had... Uh, I've played and completed met several times, but never owned uh, Silent Hill 3 or Silent Hill 4 The Room. Uh, those didn't make the cut when I sold loads of games. Um, and I bought them. And it was before the Silent Hill remake announcement. And I bought them for about say 20 quid a piece so 20 pounds um, probably around the similar euro mark uh, maybe a little bit more maybe a little bit less I'm not 100% sure of the um, horrendous nature of exchange rates at the moment 
But it was just after that that they went up in price by like five times. And I'm like, God, they're, they're just... I, just I, I get it. That's how capitalism works. I just hate it. You know? I just I, I looked out getting those. Also, increasing payout and bragging rights. In order to improve this premises, you must now complete the following task. Build five level two bedrooms. And get a cool trinket. I will do that, because I'm pretty sure I already have. Yep. <laughs> is the job complete? It is. Yes. Congratulations. You have once again proven yourself barely above minimum expectations. That's what I aim for. Guests will now have a higher expectation for this location. You got a watch. I don't, I don't know what that does. It lets me see the time. <laughs> That's all it does. It just lets me see the time. Uh, this will help you know the exact time. Shows you the exact time. That's all it is. <laughs> That's all it is. That's all it does. I gotta tidy up my hotel. Stop leaving so much trash in my bar. Oh, I can't get. I can't. I can't get past. Why can't I get past? I'm too big to fit. <laughs> That's trash. I need to just like minimize the walls a minute. I need to find all the trash in the rooms. I can't believe I've become like a hotel maid. Oh, it's the barrel that's in my way. Got it. No, oh, I understand now. Hi. Wow, you are disgusting. <laughs> Turn your light off as well, it's daytime. Eh. There we go. Uh, wait, <laughs> I need to... Uh... Oh no, it's not that one, is it? Although I should probably book some more people into this room. Um, let's put that there. And let's hope people can get past it. <laughs> I can't get past it! <laughs> I'm too big and fluffy. Just gonna move both of these out of here. <laughs> it's easier. There we go. Now I can tidy up. There's so much trash in the bar. There we go. Oh no. There's still trash in the bar. Oh no, that's a light. I'm turning on the light through the wall. That's why I wasn't picking up the trash. Ugh, I'm stuck on a plant. Alrighty. Further improvements are available in this location. You must now successfully complete the following task. Complete the stay for 10 guests in A24. Yes, I will accept that job. Thank you. Speaking of guests, I keep forgetting I need to book them in. Why are you unhappy? Oh, because there's a queue for the toilet. Got it. What are the reviews like for this one? Five, five, four. Only three people have left reviews. Um, one, two, and six. Yeah, you can go there. Three, three, oh wait, one, two, and seven. Yeah, you can go there. Eight, two, and five. Yeah, you can go there. Eight, four, and six. Yep, yeah, you can go there. Is anybody else pampered? No? Mm, three, eight, and three. Uh, 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 yeah. There we go. Lovely. Got some, uh, got some guests booked in. Stop leaving your trash everywhere. You absolute monsters. Ah, the Pawn Voyage uh, Blueprint Store. I wonder if that has any more. Nope. So what else have I got to do? Go talk to Barbara. That's what I needed to do. Ah, uh, Babs. You're making your way all over the place, aren't you? My, I barely got here and you're right on my track. Uh, that's right, old lady. You better watch your back or I might build you a bedroom. Snarky bear noises. <laughs> uh, you seem to have made... You seem to have made it to the little concrete island. Arguably an oasis worse than the desert it's saving you from. <laughs> this place used to host all sorts of people, but mostly those without a lot of time on their hands. One of them, a sailor, a captain, I should say, a father of three strong boys. He had a lot of unexpected stops to make. Some would say his work was hectic, hostage to the wishes of the sea. He would make the stops so often that he'd have a regular room all to himself. 
One could wonder, perhaps, why his room would also come with regular guests all to himself. Maybe he didn't like sleeping alone. I tried swimming once. It went poorly. Introspective bear noises. <laughs> I suppose when the frost of the sea follows you, even ashore, you curl up to any ember you can find. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Papa. He kept the books on the maritime events. He even showed it to me once. It was his pride and joy. The schedule, like clockwork. The coordinates, the ships, their names. It was so fascinating that I couldn't help myself and stashed it under a wardrobe. And he never saw it again. And neither did I. I came back here with a blind hope that the chaos spread this, spared this little book. There was nothing but rubble and dust. Uh, not even a standing wardrobe to look underneath. If you happen to come across this old leathered book, do an old lady a favour, would you? You mean this book that I picked up ages ago when I was scavenging? Oh my, is that what I think it is? It might be. An old... No, it isn't. An old brown leathered book. Excited bear noises! <laughs> You know, I never used to see any animals like you just roaming around. You were lucky to have birds some days, and now you all seem to be running the place. Uh, da, 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 da. Sorry, bear with me. You all seem to be running the place. Not that I'm complaining, you're probably more qualified anyway. You all all seem to be getting things back into shape. This road used to be full of cars and buses. People chasing other people's problems. Or sometimes their own, but rarely. You never had time to look after yourself. Oh, there I go again. Getting a five pound donation from Anonymous. Thank you very much, Anonymous. Barbara thanks you. Blabbering to a bear. Sounds like you've been here a long time. What happened to all the people? What happened to all the people? Bear noises? If only you could blabber back and keep an old lady company. I seem to have fallen out of practice with that. Keeping company. But I'm not here to throw a pity party. There's hardly enough booze for that. Thank you. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a long walk ahead of me. You sure? Bye. Bye, Babs. See you in a bit. Oh, oh hello, Sable. Uh, Sabine, even. Fancy meeting you here, mister. I figured something must have gone down south. <laughs> Too many folks out of nowhere. Too many folk out of nowhere. That damn shark's got people coming in droves. I have to go keep an eye on the dam near the lake. So the barrier up the high, uh, up the high lake is open. If you make your way up there, look me up. I know the place inside and out. Okay, new routes are available. Nice. High Lake and Dark Grove. Dark Grove. Sleep. Okay, so we're entering the final stages of this now. If you are tempted to donate or wish to donate, please consider doing so. Um, because I will be wrapping up in a short while, to be honest with you. So... You can find out all the information. Let me just click away from this. Uh, if you are on... There we go. Uh, if you are on Twitch on um, a web-enabled device, then you'll be able to have a look at the uh, exclamation mark mind um, command that I just put in chat. If not, you can go to Tiltify, which is T-I-L-T-I-F-Y dot com forward slash at peripheral mic forward slash mind that's tiltify.com forward slash at peripheral mic forward slash mind and you can find out all the information there in regards to donating if you wish to donate again it's always it's always appreciated never openly encouraged because i don't want people to be out of pocket let's be honest 
traveling to high high park high peak i forget i've forgotten i've forgotten what it's called goodness me <laughs> high lake that was it not even it's not even called that a medium length hike completed well i never look who waddled their way up the windy road i would call it more of a wobble I, I would also call it more of a wobble. Welcome to High Lake. Now, I'm not going to insult your intelligence. Oh, there's zero chance of that. By explaining why it's called that. But this used to be the prettiest place to spend a summer in. The soft wave of the trees and the wind. The calmness of the water. No wonder the captain built his vacation house here. I remember it had the most amazing garden. You could see it from the dam. Obviously, you weren't allowed anywhere near the, near the place. Maybe you should check it out. It's just up the dirt road. I'm sure there's some fruit or something you can eat along the way. That is your main occupation, right? Eating fruit. I would never limit myself to just fruit. I'm going to go over to the dam. I'm going to go over the dam to my outpost. Uh, I'm going over the dam to my outpost. Oh, God, words are hard. I'll see you around. rain this is a nice looking place let's have a quick look at the map local map mushrooms and everything wow that's a they, that's a big garden Oof. construction sign old bed posts old bed parts sorry destroyed debris destroyed debris took shop highlight placard oh nice Oh wow, the monument, that's an old, oh, and the uh, the dam as well with Barbara, let's go to the dam, and close out on the dam with Barbara. Alright Babs. For some people, growing older doesn't come with getting smarter. I want what they have. <laughs> Yeah, fair enough. Is that a fish? Don't you see a fish there? No, I can't have seen a fish. Absolutely can't have seen a fish. Right, I'm going to close this out. This has been absolutely fantastic. Uh, I just need to grab my phone a second because I was just going to do something. I have not donated myself yet, so I think that's an excellent opportunity for me to also add a donation from my company, Peripheral Media. Um, who this fundraiser is in association with. So let's just transfer that. Oh, no, that's that. But I've had a, an absolutely amazing time with all of this. Um, I've just been a brilliant, brilliant experience. And one I will repeat as well. Um, I have loved trans uh, love transferring. Uh, I have loved uh, raising money for Mind the mental health charity here in the UK. I've loved chatting with people. I've loved the games as well. Like we played three really good games. Like I'm I'm stunned how good Garden Simulator was. Uh, I'm not surprised how good Potion Craft was. I'm surprised how good it is on PC because it's vastly superior than the um, thingy, uh, the console version. But I, I, I wasn't surprised that I would enjoy that because I've sunk many, many hours into Potion Craft on uh, on console. Turn it down, Smidge. Because um, the sound of the rain is making me need to wee. Uh, and yeah, this is my first return back to live streaming for a cause. So and I, I love it. I absolutely adore it. It makes me feel like I'm helping the world and giving something back to the universe, which is always good. Uh, da -da 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 let me just fill this out um and i hope you've enjoyed it too i've really enjoyed it obviously i've gained a, a, some new followers i've gained some new fans that sort of thing it's been awesome it's been absolutely fantastic uh obviously if you like what you see with my voice and face you can check me out currently every friday fish did you see a fish did you see a fish? i can't i couldn't see a fish. i'm missing the fish um you can check me out every Friday, 5 till 7.30 BST, that's British summertime, although it doesn't feel like summer at the moment. Ah, I've spelled everything wrong. There we go. Um, yeah, uh, British summertime, though it doesn't really feel like summer uh, at the moment. But if you 
want to check out my streams you can do um i also stream on the gog.com channel with some of the dungeons and dragons players over there that's normally twice a month it is probably please see this as a caveat probably going to be the 16th of may which is a tuesday and also the 27th of may which is a saturday this month or next month i should say um yeah i don't think i'm doing anything streaming before this friday it's my birthday on tuesday i was probably i thought i'd stream but i've actually got a work thing um which i normally wouldn't mind i wouldn't say yes to but it's uh supporting a um group of college, local college students as they learn about robotics and artificial intelligence so I'm, I'm genuinely interested in that again trying to give something back trying to feed back to the universe just zooming on the bear and babs they're like a couple <laughs> uh, da -da -da. Oh, a boo work thing but robots robots indeed I can show you the robot I'm working on actually uh, have I done that correctly? Yes. Oh, I just done it. I want to leave a note as well. I have done that wrong. Next. There we go. Cool. Uh, yep. Gift aid. Add my address. Oh, Lord. Gift aid is a really wonderful thing, actually. So, uh, gift aid. I don't know if anybody knows about gift aid in the UK. Basically, gift aid is a... Um, a scheme set up by the government so charities get an extra 25 percent i want to say that's correct 25 percent of any charity donations uh, which is brilliant absolutely fantastic uh, so let's say for example i donate 10 pound that if you've gift aid and you put your address in um and you live in the uk the government will give an extra 25 percent so it'll be 12 pound uh 12 pound yeah something like that i'm sure that's how numbers work i don't know i've been awake for a long time <laughs> It's been... Oh, that's not my postcode. It's been a journey. Uh, and I think I enjoy doing these more than I enjoy doing the big sort of 24-hour live streams. Because the 24-hour live streams are great, don't get me wrong. But they're only, on, they're only on one... My donation came from a donation that I now donated to the charity. <laughs> Excellent! <laughs> um, uh, yeah, I... Uh, uh, like this because i can break it out over certain days i can break it out so people can catch it that sort of thing oh, i definitely added my address then god damn it you're gonna need to bear with me just a second but hopefully everyone has uh, has enjoyed their time along this journey uh, if you want to catch up on all of these then i'll be posting them to the youtube channel it's made me miss live streaming more than anything. I'm not going to lie. It's made me miss that sort of instant gratification of playing a game, having fun with people, and then if I want to save it, I can save it. And if I don't, I don't. That's basically it. So while there are definitely some more YouTube videos in the pipeline, um, I have uh, rekindled my love of live streaming with this, which is brilliant. Next excellent stuff pay peripheral media account do that see my face see my face <laughs> excellent stuff so peripheral media has just added an extra 200 pounds to the total so that's a total of 630 pounds to the uh cause which is awesome i will grab the robot right now and this is a work thing that i'm pretty sure none of my work colleagues actually watch me on here and i also don't think it's a problem that i share this robot on here either oh god oh you're really heavy dude this is Apollo, our robot dog in the office. Oh, God, let me just... This is Apollo, our robot dog. So uh, Apollo's got lots of lots of sexy tech inside of him. He's got two 4K cameras, some omnidirectional microphones, sonar, LiDAR, loads of touch sensors. And basically, I use this to encourage kids to get into technology. So there's also going to be some videos, maybe even some live streams. Who knows? kind of not rebranding myself but kind of like um solidifying uh i'm sure that's not a deer right 
interesting fact it's made up of two animals right it's a mashup of two animals what do you think the two animals might be this is the question i always open this with what do you think the two animals might be and let me just switch over to can i just go over to a, a desk one is that a thing i can do video capture device okay can i switch over to just the camera <laughs> nope uh, apparently i cannot <laughs> brilliant stuff so now it's just darkness it's just all dark <laughs> can i da -da 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 -da. well this is awkward <laughs> new scene new scene new thing video capture device video capture device the webcam i need the webcam that yes transition nope can't see it in the slightest all right cool don't know why that's broken let's just go back to the gameplay cool uh yes so a donkey and a dog are you sure that's not a deer a cow and a donkey <laughs> hello darkness my old friend sorry about that um it's a uh, rabbit and a dog so those are the two two things that apollo here is uh um modeled after and why why is that why is a robot modeled after a mashup of two animals um that's the biggest question and that's the question that a lot of students and a lot of co-workers and other technologists don't they don't really have the answer for the question uh, sorry the answer to that is it's for our sensibilities our sensibilities basically oh it's a leaf going past the screen there um our sensibilities that 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 interaction with that robot would look a lot different if one it didn't look like an animal and it was just bare wires and metal and or two it looked like a giant tarantula do you know what i mean so it's for our acceptance there it's the psychological acceptance of robot human interaction that's part of my job that's what i do that's that's my life <laughs> it's, it's fascinating stuff i'm going to start doing some more of that stuff because i find it genuinely fascinating um what I also find genuinely fascinating and really heartwarming is how supportive everyone has been during this uh, live stream event. I'm just going to pop some music on real quick because the sound of rain is really making me need a wee. Yeah, we go. Um, but yeah, it's been properly, properly heartwarming to play these games for a good cause i've missed it i've missed live streaming but specifically i've missed live streaming for a purpose and i think it's just sort of made me feel like i'm doing something good for the universe which is really what i want to take away from what i do with my work and spare time at the moment and everyone who's tuning in right now everyone who's tuned in over the last three days or who's watching on youtube or just finds this video randomly you have contributed to that good warm feeling in my heart and i really appreciate it i really appreciate that um final plug from myself if you wish to follow me on any social media network you absolutely can do i am only at the moment there are peripheral mic accounts out there i am only really on twitch and youtube at the minute you can of course join the discord if you wish you're always welcome uh, if you aren't a nice person you'll be removed but you can absolutely <laughs> you've had a few views in the office but they don't get counted i'm afraid that's fine that's totally fine uh that's lovely actually thank you um i genuinely appreciate that hello questionable rules is office uh if you want to follow me on any social media account you absolutely can do i don't post normally on facebook twitter or uh, instagram but they're there they exist just for continuity reasons um again just for my own mental health i don't post on social media what i do like doing is interacting with the community i've built over the years through discord um ranger says hi hello uh exclamation mark discord so that's the discord link if you're in chat um if you want to follow on youtube it's peripheral mic uh, all of my normal streams and stuff and videos go up there um there's great couple of segments couple of shorts in regards to phasmophobia there's some more content coming in regards to some spooky games and some chill games and some more tech based games and some haunted games as well like games that are all around creepypasta um, and potentially uh, potential urban legend curses as well so that's kind of the scratches and itch in my brain i didn't know i had until most recently and of course more tech stuff so if you don't like games and you like tech Stay tuned for more stuff like that as well, because I like making stuff like that. But for now, I'm going to head on out of here. I, from the bottom of my heart, 
I really, really appreciate every single person who's been involved in this. And even if you haven't been able to be involved in it, any level of support you can give a charity like Mind or any of your local charities would be perfect. Um, obviously, don't put yourself out of pocket. Times are tough for everyone right now. So, yeah, do whatever it is you can in whatever way you can. Even if that's just reaching out to a friend, reaching out to someone you know may be suffering, reaching out to someone just going, are you all right? Is everything okay? You know, that sort of thing. So stay safe, be kind to each other, um, and yeah, pay goodness forward, I suppose. That's all I can really say. I love you all from the bottom of my heart. This has been an absolute honor and a privilege for mine, and I will see you on Friday. If I don't see you beforehand, uh, if I do see you beforehand, check out the Discord so you can follow on for more details. It's quite a low-pressure environment, I'll be honest with you. There's not a lot of action on there. I don't really want to clutter people's mental lives up, so I try and keep it as streamlined as I can. But in the meantime, stay safe, stay wonderful, and I'll see you next time. Thanks so much, everyone. Bye-bye for now. Mental health problems affect one in four of us. Join MIND now in the fight for mental health. A donation of £20 could help 167 people take their first steps in getting mental health support through MIND's booklets. £40 could help keep Mind's supportive online community side by side, open for another hour, helping to connect people and feel less alone. Thank you.